If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. And if you're here for the first time, do subscribe to the channel and do press the bell icon on the YouTube app and you will never miss any new videos that we release. Hi, I'm Deepak Patania and welcome to another episode of The Art of Science. Do you know what drifting is? What if I told you that drifting fits perfectly on this channel, on a science channel? You'll be surprised, right? But then there is some science behind it. Drifting actually requires not only an understanding on friction, but a complete mastery over it. You may not realize it, but these drivers are masters at controlling friction. So how does a car drift? Firstly, the car ideally needs to be a powerful rear wheel drive car. The front wheels do the regular job of maintaining traction with the ground. Traction is a positive connection to the ground and therefore means that the friction between the tires and the ground is high. The front wheels of the car remain in the direction of the motion to maintain traction and that is actually opposite of what is normally done. For example, if the turn is curving to the right, then normally you would turn the steering wheel to the right and go around the bend. But while drifting in the same situation, since the rear of the car will swing out to the left side, you will have to turn the front wheels also to the left side to remain curving along the turn. Otherwise, if you turn the front wheel to the right, then the car will go out of control. And why they do it is not to show off. Drifting is done to maintain a high speed while going around the corners because after all, they are racing each other. Now that I've told you this, check out the cars in the video once again and notice the front wheels. 